Hey everybody, my name is Mason, and I just really want to quickly show how you can turn a sketch like this into an awesome animation all within VizCom. So the workflow I'm going to be showing today will involve usage of reference imagery and the ability to composite our layers to create some couple of variations and then animating those variations. So I start things off in the 2D studio and I just jump right into the reference image tab and select the reference material workflow. I find that this workflow is really useful for both preserving the underlying sketch but then also applying my reference image in terms of the style, rendering, and composition onto my uh, underlying sketch. So really quickly I can get really cool results just by using the reference image material workflow. So I try a couple of different uh, images I have in my collection of reference images and assets and then really quickly you can kind of see they're all preserving the same type of composition. I'm just getting some really cool uh, variations on them. With the 2D Studio and the layers, I can then also composite different layers and sections. So if I like one particular part, like a glowing orb of on the staff of one generation, I can then use the magic wand tool or the auto selection tool within VizCom to then select just that part and then erase it with the layer selection. Now I really like this rendering. However, there are a couple artifacts. You can kind of see a face kind of appearing in the background and these flames. So I leverage the magic eraser tool as a way to control elements and sort of erase out those elements and regenerate that area. Uh, it's really useful. I also suggest check marking the select multiple areas so that the magic eraser does not automatically process every time you lift off from your stylus or from your mouse. So this allows me to select both this lightning bolt area as well as uh, a part of her cheek that needs to be re-rendered. Once I have all the images ready for animations, I go back into the workbench and then I attach the animate node and then click on a quick describe prompt and select turbo. And I select turbo just because it gives me a really fast and quick result um, that will then, I can then change the prompt and then kind of see what sort of results I get. And then I get a really cool gallery of different animation results. This one's really awesome. And then I can click on the full screen version to kind of see up close what that might look like. So this one's pretty cool too. And so yeah, give this a try with all of your sketches, you know, using reference images, and then go ahead and make them and turn them into life using the animation tool within VizCom.